Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone at Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful less scattered abroad. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Shah. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, man. All right, now, you know, one of the brothers, the brother Ottawan, made a, a lesson, all right? And among, I think the title is among these words is before it's too late, all right? You know, y'all should watch the brother's video, but this is, you know, I'm laying back and, you know, off of what the brother was saying in this video, man, all right? Because two-thirds of our people, man, you know, they, you know, they have the spirit of to do everything last minute or to not consider the times that they are in, all right? So that's why it tells us in the scriptures what? Seek the Lord while he may be found, all right? Because there's going to there's gonna be a time when, when the Lord isn't going to be found to two-thirds of uh, the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man, okay? Because when there, were, when there was a time of repentance, okay, they despised it. All right, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so the Lord can stay can can uh, can still may be found. All right, because what He has His men. All right, His servants, the prophets, bringing out this word, prophesying the downfall of this place. You people call America, according to the scriptures, is Babylon the Great. Okay, and and telling you the uh the gospel. Okay, telling you the great words to come back. All right, you you know who you ignorantly call God, whose true name is Yahweh, and who you ignorantly call Jesus, whose, tra whose true name is Yahweh Shai. All right, is your power. All right, come back unto Him, and you are His people. All right, but these people have not. Um, these people haven't uh, danced. You know they have. They haven't danced to this gospel. Okay. All right, and there's gonna be a time when the Lord cuts off. All right, He cuts off the word from this place. All right. So that's why, again, it says seek the Lord while he still may be found, because it's going to be a time when, you know, it's going to be a time where the Lord ain't going to be found in this place for two thirds of our people. OK, now I want to bring out Romans chapter 13, starting at verse 11. And it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. All right, man, it is a high time to awake out of sleep. But it says what? Knowing the time that it is a high time to awake out of sleep. All right. So knowing the times, man, the times that we are in. All right. Through the spirit of Yahweh, we could tell that we at the end, man. OK, through all the articles, you know, World War Three storing, uh, stirring up. OK, Esau coming down with, with uh, coming down with that great wrath. All right, you know they're uh, pre-programming people, okay, to take a to take a jab soon, which will be mandatory, which will lead to Revelation thirteen verse sixteen. All right, so knowing that time, all right, it is a high time to wake out of us. Is it? It is a high time to awake out of sleep. Why? Because for now our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. All right, and it's one four four. Call Allah how about your mouth shy? All right, man. So knowing that, all right, we know that Yahweh Shah, our Savior, is going to make uh, his great return. All right, he's going to crack them clouds. Okay? But knowing that, what? All right? You got to seek the Lord while he still may be found. Okay? Because two-thirds of our people, all right, you know, don't think these things are going to happen. All right? So, um, but basically, uh, going back to that point, man, our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right. That's why it's very important. Okay. That we stay in the spirit. All right. And we stay with abounding in the work of the Lord. Okay. Keep doing these lessons, going out on the highways and byways, man, and making sure that we examine ourselves and say, and stay circumspect. All right. On the times that we are in. All right. The next uh, uh scripture I want to bring out is um Ecclesiastes 
or Ciroc. Um, chapter 5, starting at verse uh, 7, and it says, Make no tearing, make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? So it's make, it says make no tearing to turn to the Lord, man. All right? Now, you know, matter of fact, let's go into the uh, blue letter. doesn't have it. All right? It doesn't have the, um, it doesn't have the apocrypha, but, you know, let's, let's Google search that word tearing. Okay? All right? And tearing comes from the word terry. Stay longer than ex than intended, delay leaving a place, okay. All right, and another definition going back to the uh, Merriam-Webster, it says to delay or to be tardy in acting or doing, to linger in expectations, wait, to abide or stay in or at a place, okay. So basically. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, meaning don't put this aside. All right. You got all these videos. You got the men on the highways and byways. All right. The truth is no more. The truth is no more is no longer hidden. All right. These people are hiding from the truth now. All right. It's, it's in their faces. But yet, OK, they want to do something else. All right. They they don't want to go through that straight gate like the scripture tells us to. OK, they want to try to find another way and it's not going to happen. All right. And it says what? And put and put not off from day to day. Uh, I'm going to go. I'll, I'll repent tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll be renewed by this word next week. You can't do that, man. Why? Because. Um, for suddenly the, 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 for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. All right. So when you think everything is okay, all right, like the scripture tells us, the Lord shall, the Lord shall come like a thief in the night. All right. No man, no man knows that day. All right. Not even Yahweh Shah knows that day. All right. Only the heavenly father Yahweh knows. All right. And he's not gonna and he's not gonna um he's not gonna tell you. All right? He's not gonna tell you straight to you. But how does he tell how did he tell you? When you go to what? When you go to the when you go to second address chapter one, all right, it tells you, all right? When through the signs of the times, all right, and through the times we know that what? Our salvation is nearer than we believe because we see all the prophecies unraveling. We see these things happening. What's the what the scripture tells us about, man? All right, here you have it, man. You know the uh, the apostle Gabar dropped the video. You know, land backing off a dude saying this is you know prepare for a summer of violence. Every day you look on your news articles, people are dying left and right. All right, the Lord is putting uh, the Lord is putting many spirits on these people, many demons on these people, man. All right. And that tells us what sedition of men. All right. They, that, that what they shall wax worse and worse. They shall wax cold, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So th through these things, we understand that through the signs of the times that what we are in them days, man. That's why you should not be making no turn to turn to the Lord. All right. Because in that security, thou shalt be destroyed. All right. Now, um, uh, Salakia, let's get the book and then we can wrap it up on this. Didn't mean to make this lesson too long, all right. And I'm gonna go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, and I'm gonna start at verse 9, all right. And it says, Then he said unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great. And the land is full of blood and the city full of perverse perverseness. For they say, the Lord hath forsaken the earth 
and the Lord seeth not. All right. And our people are in that same spirit now. All right. We know it, um, with the scripture, this is when um, um, the house of Israel. All right. Which is what the, uh, the northern kingdom and Judah, the southern kingdom. All right. We're separated. OK. But our people, which have been scattered. All right. Are, are in that same spirit. OK. It says the land is full of blood and the city full of perverseness. All right. And they say what the Lord see if not. All right. So two thirds of our people are what, you know, they're doing. They're continuing to do the things that they're doing. OK, because they don't think that the Lord is going to send his son back. All right. To judge this place. OK, verse 10, it says, and and as for me also, my eyes shall not spare. Neither will I have pity, but I but I will recompense their way upon their head. All right. So in a, in that time, the Lord ain't going, you know, especially you people that have been putting off the day of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah. All right, the Lord ain't gonna have no pity, man, upon you. Why? All right, because you've been making tarry, you've been tearing to turn to the Lord. All right, you wanted to do what you wanted to do. All right, and the back back up. Um. Bear with me one second. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 8, starting at verse 18, and it says, Therefore, uh, therefore will I also deal in fur fury. My eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them. All right. And this is going to be the judgment of two thirds of our people. All right. Why? Because these people have been what? Doing these perverse things. All right. Committing wickedness. OK. And they and they feel as if you how about Shemal Shah? See if not. All right. So that's why it's very important. All right. This is very important that you come back. All right. And this, you know, and, you know, this may sound like a broken record. All right. You know, you you think that this may sound like a broken record, but as what? As watchmen. All right. For, of the house of Israel. OK, we need to get the blood off our hands. All right. The Lord told us that. All right. So, you know, if, if this may sound like a broken record and, you know, you don't want to hear this, then you should know the judgment that's going to happen to you. All right. But it is our job to warn you people. OK. All right. And in and, and this verse, you can also go into what Proverbs, the first chapter. All right. When your calamity come, uh, uh, I will laugh, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So that's just to show you that there's going to be a severe judgment for two thirds of our people that took this thing for a joke. All right. That thought the Lord was slack concerning his promise. OK. And as us being watchmen, we want to make sure the blood is off is that blood is off our hands, man. All right. Because it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power, man. All right. We want to be comforted. We want to be, you know, we want to be under Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah's grace in that time to come. All right. So that's why we got to keep doing our jobs. All right. So, you know, I pray that the lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, or Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles, elders, or great millstone everywhere. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful less scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom and a ball, a